They're all in line. We are ready for the start. They're off in the Belmont Stakes. And Destin had a very good beginning, but there goes Gettysburg as expected. Sent to the lead by Paco Lopez, and Destin is close as to stablemate Stradivari. And then to the outside, there goes right to the outside of them, seeking the soul, who's three deep into that turn. Cherry Wine sits back and runs in fifth. Exaggerator's not far behind. He's three wide into the turn as Governor Malibu saves all the ground. Then Brody's Cause seeking the soul. Three lengths more. And then comes Forever Doro racing on the outside of Creator, who's been guided to the rail. Lonnie is second last. Trojan Nation trails. And the first quarter was solid enough. It was 24 seconds flat. So it is Gettysburg the leader on this expansive first turn at Belmont Park. Gettysburg in front by a length and a half. Destin tracks in second position. Seeking the Soul follows in third. Stradivari's in between horses. Exaggerators moving up on the outside and is strongly held by Kent DeSormo. Four deep up the backstretch. Then Governor Malibu followed by Cherry Wine. Rody's cause is right behind his stablemate. And he's six lengths off the lead up the backstretch. Lonnie has gone by a few horses now. And Lonnie is moving up on the outside. Then Creator, sudden breaking news. And Forever Doro, the half was in 48 and 2. Three quarters up in one minute, 13 and 1 fifth seconds. And Trojan Nation is well behind the field. So Gettysburg leads the charge up the backstretch in front by a length. It is Destin who continues to pursue in second. Stradivari is right there, and so is Exaggerator. The Preakness winner is fourth in right to the outside of a ground-saving Governor Malibu, who is sent along by Joel Rosario down on the inside. Gettysburg has been there all the way so far. Destin continues to pursue him. Stradivari is close. Exaggerator is two lengths off the lead, four wide on the turn. Then Governor Malibu, creator. Lonnie still with five lengths to make up. And then it's Cherry Wine. Sudden breaking news goes wide and forever Doro. It is still Gettysburg who will turn into the stretch with Destin right on his outside. And they're into the stretch. And Destin has taken the lead in the Belmont Stakes. Stradivari is there. Governor Malibu couldn't get through on the inside. He is in traffic. Exaggerator. Here comes Lonnie on the far outside. And Creator is coming too. It is Destin in front. Creator. Lonnie on the outside. Destin and Creator, these two come down to the line together. Too close to goal. It was Creator and Destin right on the wire. And Iran Ortiz raised his whip in victory, but it is very close in the Belmont Stakes. And here and it is. Lonnie third. The fourth nose finish in history of the Belmont Stakes. We thought it was creator on the outside as I read Ortiz thought and it looks from that angle like it was. Here's a look right down the finish line. Head bobbing nose finish. Sure looks like the outside. It appears from that angle to be the outside horse creator. And it's now it's now on the board. So unofficially creator. And once again, an Arkansas Derby winner takes the Belmont Stakes. Last year, it was American Pharaoh. This time, it's Creator. And there's the official photo. Creator edging Destin. Let's go to Donna. Well, I read on the Gallup out, even before they posted it, you said, I won the race. So you knew when you crossed the wire, you had it. Yeah, see, first I want to say thanks God on the trainer and owners. They give me the opportunity to ride the horse. Steve and Musi do a great job. And thank, thanks him, I'm here today. I'm, I'm riding this horse today. And he was coming, I just waved somewhere to go. So when he got clear, he started running. He was coming, he told me he gonna be all right in the mile and a half, and he was right, I know, I know he passed him. Well, here are the payoffs. Creator paid 34.80. Destin was second. Lonnie, the Japanese trained horse who became somewhat of a joke, no joke, he finishes third. And the exact to pay off the 13-2 is $269. A dollar try, $1,375. Let's take a look at some replays now and see what happened to Exaggerator, who comes home 11th. Yeah, well, Exaggerator with Kent DeSormo aboard is about four wide going down the backside. He gets a little rank, and this is not Kent DeSormo's fault. It was a product of a slower pace of the Belmont Stakes, and Exaggerator wanting to lay a little closer. Kim's trying to restrain him, but that's never good when a horse is not relaxed in a mile and a half race like the Belmont. By rank, we mean he's trying to fight with the Sormo a little bit, which takes a little more energy out of the horse. At a mile and a half, that's not a good thing. It's also not a good thing that 
from his number 11 post position. DeSormo couldn't drop him in at all. He was four wide on both turns. So by the time they got to the top of the stretch, he had already expended a lot of needless energy. You can see there, Exaggerator at this point is already beaten him. Creator who is came, down on the rail, who came from 12th in a 13 horse field, is rocketing past Exaggerator. Right, he here. saved a lot more ground. Kent said he just saved the ground in the Preakness. Well, Creator got that dream trip, saving ground here in the Belmont. Now you'll see the last eighth of a mile or so when DeSormo saw that Exaggerator was beaten. He didn't really ride him that aggressively. He is here, but he'll start to ease up on him a little bit, and Exaggerator will fade in the stretch and wind up finishing 11th. Lonnie, let's give him some credit, too. Yeah, I see. He's the other gray horse with the, the red and blue silks coming down the middle of the stre stretch, about six in the sixth path there, and he comes on to be third. Big race by Lonnie. Now, you say Exaggerator ran in the Derby and the Preakness and might not have had quite as much energy. So did Lonnie. And Lonnie ran an exceptional race to come from way back and take third. And now out of the picture, Ken DeSormo did wrap up on Exaggerator when he was see that he was beaten. And here's the finish. That's the finish from the, here's the complete order of finish. Creator, Destin, and Lonnie in the money. Then Governor Malibu, Stradivari, Brody's Cause, and Cherry Wine, the two Roman's horses. Gettysburg, the pacemaker. Sudden breaking news, second choice in the betting. But there you see how far back he came in ninth place. Trojan Nation, exaggerator with the Sormo wrapping up on him, seeking the soul and forever Dioro.